Right, incredible story now. We're going to speak to Victoria Kylie from Eastbourne about it. Victoria, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? I'm good, thank you. Let me just tell people all about this. At the end of the Vietnam War, in, 1970, in 1975, thousands of children were evacuated from the country and adopted by families around the world. Around the same time, the Daily Mail decided to airlift around 100 children from Saigon orphanages to Britain. And one of them has set out to track down the others and find out what happened to them. She has no knowledge of her previous life and doesn't even know what age she is. Victoria, take us back to 1975. What happened then? Uh, well, all I can tell you is what I've been told because I was far too young to remember it myself. Obviously. I was only about 18 months when I came out of Vietnam. But um, I have been told, whether it's true or not, but I've been told that my, my birth father was a Vietnamese serviceman in the Vietnam War and he was killed. And my birth mother had too many children to care for on her own and so had to give up some of her children for adoption. And I was taken to the Lam Thi Nai Orphanage in the Giardin district of Saigon. And that is where I was hand chosen by my adoptive father, who was working in Vietnam at the time. Did you have a happy adoption? Oh, I had a wonderful life. Mm. Mm. And uh, so, uh, are your mum and dad still around? Unfortunately, my father died in 1998, right. and I, I failed to ask him all the questions that I'm, I'm asking now, which is the reason why um, it's so difficult, because I was one of the lucky ones. I was one of nine children who was already adopted before they came out of Vietnam. Um, and so I have a little bit more information um, than any other adoptee has about themselves, but I just didn't ask my father when it was important. Did you? Did he or, or, or your mum, did they tell you any information? Did they tell you anything about the story, about how you were chosen or anything like that? Yes, yes, they, they told me on a regular basis exactly how I was chosen, you know, and I was always made to feel very special and, and very loved and wanted. Um, however, it's the little questions that I need answering now, um, the answers that only my father would be able to answer. Is your mum around? She is, but she, she didn't spend quite so much time in Vietnam. No. And um, it was my father that actually chose me. And he never told her, and he didn't speak about it. It's difficult, isn't it? It's, I mean, I'm adopted. It's difficult for, you know, sometimes adoptive parents to, to, to completely, you know, go into the, into the depths of it because, you know, you're, you're, you're their child. Oh, absolutely, yes. My, my parents have always been very open and honest and they've always encouraged me to, to seek my, uh, my roots, uh, but I never wanted to because I always felt British. Um, but, but now I, I want the, the answers to those questions. Do you feel a, a, a cultural belonging to Vietnam in any sense? Um, I can't say that I do at the moment. I haven't actually been back to Vietnam yet, um, but I, I'm going to go back at the beginning of next year and hopefully I will actually feel some grounding when I get there. Mm. And what was it like growing up in a, in a sort of, uh, uh, a, 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 a tran, what do you call it, a transnational, transcultural adoption? Did you feel different growing up? Yes, I did, yes. Um, I, I can't say that I, I didn't. That would be a, a, a big lie. I mean, um, my school life was very difficult because I was one of very few um, non-Brits. Um, there, there were very, very few... Um, of us that were very different and because of that I, I had quite a troubled um, school life but um, out of school you know I, I've never I've never had any difficulty but yeah now I will actually want to know the answers to those questions mm. so what would you like to say to anyone listening who m m maybe knows one of those babies I left it from Saigon or is one of those babies I was maybe a nurse or someone from the the plane, someone involved in the story, you, you, know, you have your chance to speak to them there. Well, that's just it. It's, it's not just the adoptees, it's not just the, the baby lift, it's anybody who's been um, adopted from Vietnam and anybody who helped out on that flight or in the orphanages in Vietnam um, during the, the Vietnam War. I, I'd really like to, to talk to anybody who can help help us, all of the adoptees who have got together, who, who would like to, to know a little bit more about it. And um, I'm just, just asking Asking whether they could contact me on inside out at bbc.co.uk. It's an incredible story. Thanks for t telling us about it. Thank you very much. 844.